my channel firewall again today we are going to see vsx commands the commands which we usually use or in the daily life we use to do vsx work if you not aware of what is vsx vsx concepts please go and watch my uh, videos uh, on the vsx you will get the clarity on this video i'll be explaining the commands how you can run those commands and get the benefit out of it let's start let me log into the uh, my vsx gateway okay so guys vsx command can be run from the your standard mode the mode which you are seeing on the screen and the mode which is expert mode I always prefer the advanced or expert mode when I do the advanced commands. So let's go to the expert mode and give it to the password. At the end, I'll be showing you how you can run the commands from the standard mode as well. But for now, just use the expert mode, clearing the screen. So right now, you are at the vsx0 which you can see here but if you wanted to know at which uh, vsx or vs you are in you will use the command vsx dash get oh, sorry or oh, vsx get so here you will see what is the current context context is your the actual virtual systems where you are right now so for example if i uh for now just uh, if i go to the vs1 and uh, sorry this and v1 and if i run the same command you will be seeing you are at the first context so there are environments where we have a multiple virtual systems not one there are many virtual systems and sometimes uh, you get confused at which virtual system i mean because you have to run a uh, different troubleshooting command on a particular virtual system because you will be you know troubleshooting for that particular you know a virtual system or a particular client environment so that time you need to know uh, at which virtual system you'll be running so use this command vsx get okay let me clear the screen and let me go back to the original one so i want to show you the another command where uh, how you can change your context or how you can you do the virtual system change thing uh, you have to just use the command vsenv and the context name if you want to go to the one you will give the one okay so right now at you are at the first context and whatever the things you will be running it will be from this first context only right so if for example if you have a this virtual system load sharing configuration uh, you can check uh, for this context you can check it from the command say cbha prop stat uh, i haven't configured that that's why it's not showing up but if you have something like that it will show you that and if whatever the command you will be run will be run from this context only for example say i want to do the tcp term say uh, any i'm just typing anything so whatever the packet flow you are seeing this is from this virtual system virtual system one right not from the rest of the virtual system so it will show you whatever the things are there for that virtual system i hope you are getting my point but if you are not getting my point please go ahead and watch my virtual system extension uh, video you will get a more clarity on that right so i have listed two commands first one virtual system gate which is vsx gate and the other one vsenv which is used for you know moving 
from your context one context to another context similarly if you want to go back you have to always type zero this is your main context okay uh, this we can call it as a management context because if you see interfaces what we have here here you only see what are the interfaces you have configured for the management purpose okay so this is what uh, the purpose of this context now if you want to see you know what are the statistics we have for the virtual systems you need to use the command vsx stat stat for statistics and if you enter you will get all different things what we have here for example virtual system uh, how many virtual system you configure you know what are the concurrent connections and everything but if you want to look into more detail way you always use command vsx stat minus v and you will get you know a uh, little bit in a little format like which virtual system you have here uh, for example i don't have much virtual system configured but i just wanted to you know uh, give understanding like how virtual systems look like so here usually you get the virtual system id this is a virtual switch what it's showing showing but if you have virtual system as well it will show you id one two three four five and what is the actual policy configure on that virtual system what is the install time and if you have a sick established prevention policies you know, is there everything you can show there is another option another variation for this command so you can use vsx stat minus l l is give you output in a listed format so if you prefer you know detail output in a listed format you can use yellow option to see all these things right let me clear up the screen now uh, if you want to find more of what we have for the virtual system you have to give the this command just mm -hmm. ask for the help and you know it will give you all the listings what are the commands we have for example let me clear up the screen and use the same command with same more option so right now you are saying what are the commands we have for the virtual system and their uses so these are the you know different options you can use these are different commands you can use uh, for your different purposes right yes uh, what else we can do in a virtual system for example mostly this is the main thing you have to go to the particular virtual system sorry we send v1 and from there you need to run your what are the commands so after entering to this particular virtual system what are the checkpoint basic commands we have we have you can run it from here so for example you want to see what is going on with this virtual system uh, uh, with respect to uh, the traffic you can use fw monitor right uh, and uh, like cp view what are the commands we have you can you know run commands from here and that particular things with respect to that virtual system uh, you are able to see that stuff now let's go to the uh, trish mode let me see if i can go it like way. yeah from here you can also do the virtual system uh, uh, you can run the virtual system uh, commands so here I believe there is a command called set if you press tab you will see a lot of options here I hope we can see something for virtual system as well so see there is something called virtual system so let me clear up the screen set then give the option virtual system again if you press tab if it asks you like at which virtual system or context you need to you know move on so i'm just pressing one and see right now you got the context virtual system one and here also you can do whatever your virtual system command you can run from if you want to run for example if you want to set some ip addresses you want to set some uh, you know routes whatever you can do it from here right 
there are a lot of options here you can you know go for that right so guys this is a small video i wanted to convey uh, how we can you know use virtual system extension commands and how we can you know usually use those commands to do our daily work if you like and enjoy my video please uh, press like button and subscribe my channel or also press the bell icon so whatever the latest I upload a video will come to you as soon as i'll upload them thanks for watching this video guys and have a wonderful day